wanted to give a key or a clavis to uh, principles of photography. Um, ones that will explain some principles, you know, kind of like sign language, except this will be um, symbolism for uh, types of uh, photography that I refer to. And, um, you know, sometimes, like on my, my book, I talk about uh, some complex things and people need a list, a key of what these things mean. And uh, so this will be that video. Um, if I whip out or pretend to have a calculator in my hand and I go like this, beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. This is in reference to masturbating, okay? Masturbating. These are people like, you take the focal length and the field of view multiplied times the depth of field times 2.6 and you end up with a crop factor of 9.7 to pi squared. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Masturbating. Yeah. These are people that uh, own cameras, and uh, before they ever take a picture of it, uh, with it, excuse me, they will uh, analyze it and uh, uh, you know explore it and beep boop boop boop. You know they 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 have absolutely no idea that photography is actually an art form. Yeah, and if I ever do this, I'm referring to a dinky camera, meaning a uh, a D3000 or a D5000 series camera, and. <laughs> Unless it's like an older model that's really cheap, which is reasonable to buy one. You know, I never recommend anybody buy like a new model because they cost a lot more than a real camera costs. So uh, when I reference those, I go like this. I go beep beep. So when, when, I, when I make that sound and go, go like that, I'm referring to an Icon D3000 or D5000 camera. I'll go like this. I'll go beep beep. You know, kind of like a smart car because a smart car doesn't have a horn. You just uh, press it and you go beep beep. So, <laughs> um, if I'm referring to like herd mentalities, where um, you know, if you know, if you got this is a a, a thing that's a social uh, people that study a social theory of uh, humans and group theory. If you get like enough people together, you can make them believe any sort of stupid, insane nonsense. And the same is true of the internet. Um, like uh, huge uh, forums of photography like Diaper and Pee where you just get a bunch of people that like if you dissent and you're like, you know, that doesn't make sense. People will crush you and that's uh, intellectual fascism. You know, it's kind of like the crap that went on in uh, Germany in the 1938s. It's like, you know, all dissent will be crushed. And uh, my, uh, my symbol for that in these videos is bah, bah. Herd mentality or moo, moo, herd mentality. In other words, there's nothing intelligent. You're just, it's like a bunch of lemmings. Have you ever seen like birds, like one bird will move and then the whole flock will move and you know, they're basically going around aimlessly. Yeah. Um, if I take my glasses off and I go like this, then I'm referring to a bocaholic. You know, there's some people out there on the internet that are like that. They don't, they, they think that even like an F2 is not fast enough of a lens. So if I go like this, it means I'm referring to a, a bocaholic. You know, it's like what you know. The depth of field is like this. It's like, oh man, I love that picture. Yeah, that's a bocaholic. When I uh, squint, take my glasses off like this. Um, oh, all the people out there, as I mentioned in a prior video, that uh, think that uh, a professional photographer is just a monkey that uh, you know presses a shutter release so what I'm gonna do is I don't have to have a camera in front of me but if I go like this if I go <laughs> click <laughs> then I'm referring to all the stupid people out there that don't respect photographers real photographers and like the time and the money and the effort that they spend into their craft you know they just think you're like no different than an idiot with an iPhone that goes click <sighs> There are some people with expensive cameras that are basically no better than someone with an iPhone, however. We all know that, but that's not what I'm referring to. Um, oh, an idiot that is uh, trying to do professional uh, studio and portrait photography, and they don't actually have a light meter, and they're not intelligent enough to know that they need a light meter, especially for stroboscopic work. And uh, they're always chimping off the back of their camera, and they're just like, shoot and adjust, shoot and adjust. So they're looking at the back of the camera, and they're chimping, they're going... And then they'll adjust a little bit, and then they'll shoot, and uh, and they'll adjust again, and then they piss away time, and they look like an unprofessional idiot. We all know what chimping is, right? How about I use a light meter and I get it right, like that? Okay, yeah. 
you see because no camera has uh, within it a incident meter ability to read flashes tell you what the correct exposure is or calculate uh, lighting ratios that's why a light meter in professional photography is an essential tool um, so there's that um, if uh, if I do this if I hold a camera and I go I'm referring to a gear slut or a gear whore you know someone that uh, like you know you know what I'm talking about yeah I think you know what I'm talking about um, um, if I make fun of people that don't believe in actually composing they just think that well, I'm gonna take my camera on a continuous high and I'm just gonna go BRAM you know you just point it in the general direction you go BRAM then I'm referring to idiots that spray and pray that's what I'm referring to you know and uh, last but not least, um, uh, I, I don't know what to call this one. I've actually called it douching. Not the feminine variety of douching. No, no. It's a, it's a different form of photography. And uh, this is douching. It's like when you put on some sunglasses and you stick one of your hands in your pocket. And then you put on a, uh, your grandfather's hat like this. And then you never look through the viewfinder. You've got to stick your hand in your pocket and you lean back and you go click. You take a picture like this and like this. What I'd mean by this is I, I call that douching. You know, douching. You're you are entering the mode of la douche, which in French means shower. That would so that would be kind of like saying it's raining. Yeah, but what is it raining? I don't know. But that's what I'm referring to. I call that a douching. And uh, that is not in reference to anybody specifically. It is in reference to a type of... Because I actually saw a douche photographer. And uh, he is uh, into douche douche photography. And he had... And by the way, he was a rude schmuck. I was dead serious. It was at the art fair. And he had on a retro grandpa hat, kind of like that, except shiny. And uh, so he was a douche. And he is into douching. You know, if you just, you you maybe take a Valium or something and you stick your hand in your pocket and you go, yeah, and you look at the LCD screen. You never look at the TV, honey. You go, yeah, click, 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 yeah. And you, and typically you never use uh, strobes or uh, never use strobes, never, because uh, the only thing you could see is actual light. You can never visualize what stroboscopic light is like, so that is uh, douching. So but I, I was glad to give you the key. So that was masturbating, making fun of dinky cameras, beep beep, uh, herd mentalities, bah, like you find on internet boards of photography where everybody just kind of moves like a stinking stupid lemming, you know, like a sheep, moo, or a cow, bah, you know, you get my point, a bocaholic, yeah, okay, bocaholic, yeah, depth of field is 1.2, that's pretty good, maybe we could get a little more shallow, a little more shallow, yeah. A gear whore, sniffing buttons, douching, and a spray and prayer. Bram! And so those are, that is the clavis infinitum, the, uh, the key, the reference for uh, things that I refer to in these videos. And uh, now you know the answer to that.